deeper. And when we talk about virality, virality can mean many different things. Hey, Tristan. I can run from the back. This month, let's make it super easy. We started doing what we're doing. Brennan, back to what we, what the original quote that I mentioned was, which is, this is a science and, and, you know, everything that you teach is about, you know, virality and, and gaining 1 million followers, right? And, and how do you hook your audience in? But by and large, most of this audience, including ourselves, uh, you know, and including probably even most of your audience, the end goal isn't necessarily virality. It's uh, kind of talking about what you what you say in, in your latest uh, write up the, the the hook point that you sent us about understanding how the algorithms work. And so as we talk about that and, and you talk about when you talk to your clients, because you're talking to a very high end client, ultimately, you, YouTube is a client. That's you know, that's that's we're, we're talking to individuals here who just want to grow their business and understand how to tap in create more connections, create more conversations, create more business, not necessarily creating a 2 million view video, but creating, you know, a, a sustainable business plan. How do you talk to that person? Like, what is your mindset around growing your business with social media? Because you're probably one of the, the pinnacles of, of, of experts on this topic. Yeah, it, it's a great question. And the honest answer is it's no different. Um, because the process is the same. And, and just to give you a prime example, and we can get into the processes, we were working with an Italian leather wallet company. And it was just like one founder that was creating content, maybe he had a few people supporting the business, but we supported him in growth on TikTok. And he grew from, I think, basically nothing on TikTok to 150,000 followers. And he's got like three million to two million views and he sold out of inventory. Um, and he's doing over six figures a month in revenue now. Oh my God, wow. Damn. So like, that's kind of the power. And when we talk about virality, virality can mean many different things. For some people it's, hey, we're stuck at a hundred views of video. How do we get to a thousand? Or from a thousand to 10,000 or 10,000 to a hundred thousand or a hundred thousand to a million or all the way up. I mean, we were just working with an influencer uh, and I can't remember, he's at, I think four or 5 million subscribers and doing millions of views per video. And we were even uh, supporting him in using the same system that we use for the, the leather wallet entrepreneur. So to me, it's like, if you're going to put energy and time into content, why not have the right effective process and reach the most amount of people possible? Um, what I, where I think you're going, Jeff, is there's virality is that it's a word that's thrown around a lot. And I think a lot of people think about virality as, you know, just doing anything to get views, you know, a prank video, a trend, a song or anything like that, just to get views and not playing to the fundamental core of what your brand or business stands for. We don't do any of that. Everything is about how do we take your zone of genius, your expertise and contextualize it for the widest possible audience. And the interesting thing is anything can be made to go viral. You know, um, I know we've talked about in the past is like, you know, you guys are well-versed in real estate. Ryan Serhant has made real estate go viral. And you talk about somebody that has a very narrow audience of who his core client is, but he knows how to make it go viral so that he's built a larger brand in real estate than basically any other real estate agent on the market. And he's selling you know, I think he's representing the most expensive property in the world right now, like $250 million penthouse in New York. You have like Dr. Mike that has made medical, um, Dr. Julie Smith, a clinical psychologist that's made clinical psychology go viral, um, clear value tax made taxes go viral. So from, so from my perspective, it's, um, it's not about going viral for the sake of going viral. Obviously you have to have a, a fundamental business strategy and you know content strategy that supports your goals but but to me is if you're going to put the time energy and effort into producing content you know why not maximize that effort and that output to get in front of as many people as possible to exponentially you know grow your brand or, or your business